Hi, this is Feng Fei. Uh, tomorrow is Friday already. It's day 55 of 90 day to get out of rat race. Okay, so uh, this is countdown 36. Okay, I haven't updated this. I, I do have the, some progress. Okay, this one to you. Uh, uh, I was showing for different email, uh, different uh, recordings because today I need to. Uh, get the uh, final parts uh, optimized, not really final part, but the next part optimized place to complete because I got the emails from regarding to one show uh, how do I use an optimize. So today I'm going to more do more advanced and optimize place. So uh, first you need to go to the back office and um, I want to do is uh, Etsy pop up. Okay, I want to show you how this works, uh, supposedly, uh, okay, uh, if you have a, a opt-in page like this and uh, uh, if user just type an email, that will be fine, right? But uh, if user want to leave, right, and uh, just say my mouse here going to on the top, try to close the tab, then there's a pop-up, alright? So how do you do that, okay? And actually, uh, there's more advanced, there's other advanced way in the pop-up, um, which is uh, not just a uh, video to leave because uh, you can offer them can uh, offer them something they can download and free and they will lead to a uh, different different type of up in page maybe uh, maybe they don't like uh, this one they say okay I don't like this uh, but uh, uh, when the asset pop up available and you click the download and you actually connecting to a different pop up different type of offer so that's basically you can have a at least two products. One is showing uh, not so interest, and uh, you try to pop up. They end up to be a different product. Okay, and then you see this page, uh, which is um, also my uh, uh, the uh, squeeze, uh, squeeze page ending page. If I move, and I'll see the pop ups. Okay, so this concept is again you try to uh, close this one, and there's a pop up there. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to accomplish. Okay, how do you do that in the upping page? Uh, normally, I do that in the bottom of the page. Um, the optimized place have this add element, to which is allow you to add some new components. And for the pop-up in the optimized place, is actually say uh, it actually is called overlay uh, pop-up. And if you go uh, down all the different uh, function and try to uh, looking for oh yeah overlay optimizer and and uh, all we are optimized and let's just uh, this time choose go scroll down let's choose no style and because that is more free you can actually add your own image because you don't want to deal with uh, just a, a small button even you can make it large but uh, it's still not good okay so using this one then uh, choose overlay pop and enable the SE intent so after SE intent they will just pop up or if you don't want to have S in 10 you want to have waiting for a certain of the number of seconds like uh, just for waiting for five seconds it will automatically pop up you can uh, choose a second here but if I just want to use in S in 10 you know I just choose S in 10 and this will be the zero don't trigger the pop up based on the seconds and um, uh, this is a certain number of day which is not applied because I just want to do the pop up all right so this is by default this is all fine so you just press insert and once you press insert you should have this one that I create over here so once you have that uh, and this is an image that you can see that I actually just put over there and how do I do that I do that is you see over here and in my case uh, you can see that I I was I was just uh, adding an image and uh, and this image basically you know you will see the screen and just select the file so basically you just need to go to uh, if you are in the previous add elements and again uh, just uh, that image and uh, uh, then you're asked to uh, select the file okay and this is how you actually do it and because that's an image so if you move mouse over there and you know you probably saw that uh, okay only this bottom word no actually because this is one big image so that's why if you click anywhere it will work for example you click here in the corner because it's image it will still work go to the uh, next up in page uh, just in case your customer do not like the previous up in page and see I can click anywhere it will work 
So this is actually how you're creating the uh, as it, uh, the uh, Papa, which is the optimize, they call overlay optimize. Okay, and this is my uh, another up in uh, page screen page, which is uh, because not necessary. You want to put the uh, the uh, XC pop up. Uh, Sometimes uh, the uh, the visit doesn't like that a uh, pop up. Uh, so you can do is alternatively you can have some squeeze page you can split test them. Uh, squeeze page you can do the uh, SC redirect. Uh, let me show you what SC redirect mean. For example, this squeeze page I have right, I go on the top or anywhere I try to leave. You know, there's no pop up because I didn't enable the uh, the overlay optimize. So basically, there's no pop up. But look carefully. If I try to close it. It will actually trigger something called uh, the KS redirect. So when I try to close, it would have something. Wait, free bonus granted. Blah blah. blah. And do you want to leave? If the user click want to leave, then definitely they can leave because um, um, they they decide to leave. And if they want to have bonus or they they want to have second thought, they click stay on page and then. You'll be the redirect page to a different upping page because maybe the first upping page is does not attractive or something like that. So that's why every time you have a product sale, you should have more than one upping page. And using this way, SC Power or SC Redirect to uh, save some of the customers they try to leave. They they were act you were actually getting more uh, lead this way. And of course, you can do more, but my experience, if you do more than three, it's going to be very annoying. <laughs> so maybe two, up to three, the most. So I'm going to show you how to do the SC redirect. Okay, so you can see this page using the uh, SC power because I moved on the top here, the power here, but um, I'm going to show you some other thing, okay, which is uh, called SC redirect. I'm going to close that. So how do you do this? Actually, doing the SC redirect is far more easier than doing the SC pop up because you just need to go to a left hand side and you see um, something called page setting and in the page setting you go down a little bit you will see SC redirect and you just need to turn on that's it all right if you want to do some modification just click the SC redirect all right and provide the um, URL that you try to redirect the page after the um, SC redirect so that's it and click update and that's how you do the SC redirect and go back uh, if you want to do SC pop up. Okay, uh, I forgot to mention that uh, you need to also provide in the URL for this image. When user click this image, and they're gonna be linking to this URL. All okay? right, so you can. This is actually another squeeze page or landing page. Remember, we actually when the user try to leave, they click here. They go to the second squeeze page, right? So this is actually what we we try to do. So we go over there and they actually they go to this landing page so that's how you do that and i know you might be asking me which one is better which one actually have a higher up in rate i will just share with you my own experiment uh this is my ex experiment i have spreadsheet i have a, a total different five up in page and uh, uh the 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 first one the the first two actually they are identical Squeeze page, okay. The one is using the uh, pop-up assay, another one using the regular assay redirect, which is show you. And out of 139, uh, 133, they coming in at 72 and 67. And so up in rate for uh, the S the uh, assay pop-up, which is the pop-up picture, okay. Remember the picture pop-up. That one have 51.80 up in rate. And uh, for the assay redirect. Um, that one has a 50.38% uh, up in rate. Also for the up in page, you know, if you have something one, two, three, four, five, bulletproof way to make money online today and without website product investment, so and so, it looks like I have more up in rate than just a, a reveal. I'm exposing something. I am, I am, you know, uh, exposing base cap secret making 300 dollars daily. You can see this up in page. Um, this is actually my number three. Uh, one two, but it's number two by actual position three. The, okay, number two here. Okay, I'll just say because number one have a pop up and SV direct. It's only forty one percent. So this is lower lowest rate. And I do have a winner which is 
screen page number for 3000 and let me show you okay okay so this is squeeze number four let me show you okay so you can see this is just very very plain it's no fun no fancy at all and i up, uh, end up to be a more happy page so sometimes your page is kind of more classical <laughs> kind of older it it, it, it will actually generate more that beam. I still don't know why, but the, this is more easier to create. And you can see that the page setting, I only have a SV direct. I don't have put. I, I didn't put any SV pop up over here. And you can see that um, um, in the real action. Okay, so this is this is the upping page that gave me 52.70. Happy. Okay, not fancy at all. It just so my conclusion is maybe they have a bigger button. You can see that this is a big button. Let me in and this is get started now. Attention. Okay, so so you can try different kind of wordy. You know, attention and the uh, background the yellow highlighter three thousand. So this is something something actually kind of kind of get the, give me more up in rate. All right. So this is just so you know. And you know, once I have a winner, you know, I normally do is uh, just using that winner as a template and to clone and just change some wordy and to test. For example, I, I just change the wordy gain instant access and instead of using the red card, I'm using green card this time and I still put the same 3000 per day as similar as before. And uh, so I'm going to test this one uh, because over time your squeeze page will be um, would be like uh, too saturated, you know, people see too often. So I actually just pretty much keep the same style. Email, get started now, you know, get instant access now. But uh, kind of using the same kind of font, and uh, I change right to the green, and uh, I still keep 3000 over there. So I'm just uh, testing this one and see. And I also have um, a different type of uh, more fancier I create. Um, I try to test something, something like um, like uh, this type of popping page, and this type of popping page basically it just have a uh, something fancy background, but the rest of them are still, you know, same. And you can see this uh, public link here. It have a background of a balloon. Okay, so I have two stage. The first stage I click here, and second stage enter the email. So I'm going to test this as well. Okay, so this is just uh, another I try to test. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video regarding to optimize press, upping page, uh, SC pop up, and uh, SC redirect creation, and different upping page uh, kind of comparison and upping rate. And thank you so much for watching, and you have a very blessed day. Bye bye.